Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh Mehta. In this quick session, we are going to talk about how we can add new disk drives on Linux systems online, which means without reboot. So guys, one of the system administration tasks is the file system management. Many times file systems need to be created or expanded. Hence, addition or expansion of storage disk required on the servers. We all know nowadays most of the applications runs on virtual servers, whether that's on-prem or off-prem. On the hypervisors like Xen, Hyper-V, VMware, or KVM, etc. And one thing, guys, uh, when we use platform like uh, Amazon or Google Cloud or even Microsoft Cloud, they use Xen hypervisor. And that automatically detects the new drive because the drives which we allocate to cloud infrastructure those are basically network attached volume in case of amazon they are called ebs volume so they are automatically detected on the guest operating systems uh, but when you are using hypervisor like vmware openstack or ovm we have to manually scan for the newly allocated drives or disk drives i thought to give a quick overview on how you can accomplish this particular activity with a couple of steps so I have listed two ways or basically I can say I have listed two methods which you can use to scan the new drive one is using sg underscore util rpm when this rpm is installed you can simply run scuzzy dash rescan with minus a minus a mean it will scan all the system or pci or scuzzy buses which means it will detect the new drives which are allocated to your server. This utility is supposed to work on virtual servers as well as physical servers. The second method, in case you don't have SG underscore 3 util RPM installed and you are not authorized to install this RPM, let's take this scenario. In that case, you can simply detect the newly allocated one and traditional way. You can pass echo hyphen 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 to scuzzy class scuzzy underscore host slash host x mean zero one two three that is going to be number of your host slash scan so we are passing this parameter which basically scans all the buses on that particular host number and uh, how you can get uh, the particular host number you can simply grab mpt from uh, slash sys slash class slash scuzzy underscore host slash host question mark slash probe underscore name once that is done you can simply run lsblk to confirm the new drive is visible or not so let me give you a quick session on that one so it will give a uh, more idea how we scan the drive in both ways so guys uh, i'm just opening my vmware session Okay, this is my VM which is running on VMware workstation. So first I'm going to add a new drive. Okay, let it already go two drives. One is 8 GB, second is 4 GB. So let me add third drive. Let's make it size to be something 2 GB for testing. So I'm adding a drive. I mentioned the size to be 2 GB. Let me finish and okay. So new drive should be added and let's check at the operating system level. I can run command lsblk or you can run app disk. So you can see right now there are two drives sda which is 8 gb sdb 4 gb. So we have allocated third drive which is not automatically uh, became visible on the operating system. So what we can do we can install SCSI rescan utility. So I'm running yum list as g3 underscore utils to see whether this package is available. This is available on uh, base repository. You can see that's a Reddit provided package. I'm going to install this package. So we have to say yes. So guys package is installed you can see package is installed so now let's run the utility so path to utilities uh, slash user slash bin slash scuzzy dash rescan and i'm going to put switch minus a minus a scan all the buses press enter you can see it is scanning all the system buses 
and it is scanning for the new drive. So guys, you can see this message here. It found one new or change device. So in case do a, you are doing some disk resizing, let's say existing disk was 2 GB, you change this new size to 4 GB, then it will be detected with new capacity. But in this or our scenario, we have added a new drive. So it scanned one new drive found. So let's run LSBLK. Earlier it was showing two disks. So let's see what is scenario now. Okay, you can see this new drive is appearing, which is 2 GB one, which we just added. So guys, this is the way like you can um, scan the new disk using SCSI dash rescan, which is provided by SG3 underscore utils RPM. Let's talk about second way, which is passing eco parameters. For that, I'm going to add another drive with the let's say some random capacity to a 4 GB I'm adding a drive saying hard drive let's make it size to be 1 GB for example so driver is added but I'm not going to use SCSI dash rescan utility this time I'm going to use manual way in this way guys uh, first i need to know what is the host number so i'm just prepping mpt from sys class kazi underscore host host then question mark question mark mean it will scan all the host from cork underscore name you can see it is saying it's host zero so i have to scan the new drive on uh, host zero so simply i will do echo passing dash 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 to scuzzy class scuzzy underscore host and replacing x with zero because here drives are mapped on host zero pressing enter so this command finished this command will scan controller bus lan ids and devices on the channel so let's run lsdlk again to see whether new drive got visible or not you can see guys uh, this is the new drive which we just added one gb drive that is also visible so this activity or this procedure don't need sg underscore utils package to be installed so you can directly add by passing this particular parameter so guys uh, this was the easiest way to scan uh, newly allocated lands as i mentioned this procedure is also applicable if you are on physical server or virtual server it will work that's it in this session guys if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you guys